What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you a Sea of Thieves video and well as you can see I am loving the game. There isn't much to cover as to say I can bring you daily videos on it but streaming it may be a different story. Something I definitely plan on doing once I get my new webcam and lights. Now to celebrate my first Sea of Thieves video I am going to give away one lucky viewer this game but if you already have the game I will instead give you a £50 gift card to enter simply subscribe to the channel hit that bell button and turn notifications on like this video and leave a comment down below the winner will be contacted via YouTube direct message in a few days so good luck to all okay so today I'm going to run you guys through the easiest way of taking out all types of skeletons now these are the fellas that guard loot drop schools all sorts so knowing this knowledge will help you indeed with fortress raids and all other things when you encounter these skeletons to try and get that loot to trade for gold okay so firstly we have the standard skeletons these are indeed the basic enemies of the game found on most islands there is no specific way of taking these out other than just standard damage alone whether that be your sword gun both work great a few hits should take them down for sure these can however sometimes wield swords or guns so be careful they also regen health by eating bananas too so keep an eye on that the next skeletons which are a little harder to take down are the gold skeletons. Now these obviously move slower but they do pack a harder punch. They are gold plated and can take a while to kill unless you know how. Because they're gold and gold's a metal, what you want to do is you want to use water on these things. So you can either lead them into the water or you can use your bucket and throw water all over them. And this will then make them rust, making them easier to take out by using a sword or a gun. Possibly the blunder will deal more damage here, so go with that first. Okay, so next up people, we have these what I call vine skeletons. I'm not sure of their correct names, but you know, it looks like they're wrapped in vines or leaves, whatever. These are actually vulnerable to sword attacks. Now you will do damage to them with weapons, uh, such as shotguns, snipers, pistols, whatever. But they are more vulnerable to sword attacks. If they go into the water also, they will heal themselves. So keep that in mind. Next up we have the shadow skeletons. So these shadow skeletons can go by different names. Ghosts, whites and also night skeletons. These skeletons grow stronger in the dark and are almost impossible to kill within that dark. As far as I know, no weapon hurts them when it's dark at all. So the method in Kinesis is quite simple and that is light. So you can either wait until sunrise and take them out, but if you're in a rush or just want to simply get on with things, use your lantern. Yep, doing this makes them visible and therefore more vulnerable to your attacks. If you are in a team, get a teammate to hold the lantern next to them while you take them out with all means possible. We then have the skeleton captains. These elite captains are found during bounty quests and the fortress raids. These do have higher than normal health and you can make them out by their captain hats and they normally do have red names too. These captain skeletons can be either of the three different skeletons we just covered. The normal kind, the gold kind and the shadow kind. So depending on which one you encounter. Just use the info I just applied to take these out. They may take a little longer due to their extended health, but the same methods do work. These are the fellas that often drop schools or vault keys, which open chest doors at the fortress raids. So when you take these out guys, make sure you search around their body. And guys, that is how you kill the certain types of skeletons within Sea of Thieves. A simple but helpful guide at the same time. Not knowing this info can be more hassle than anything else, so I hope it helped you out. And if that is the case, Help me out by leaving a like on the video, but thanks as always for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one.